I am going to be demoing ArcGIS Notebook within ArcGIS Pro and how that simplifies the data processing that we are probably really familiar with. Uh, we spend a lot of time on it, but in ArcGIS Pro, we can actually bring in notebooks now. So for today's demo, I am going to be looking at the City of Toronto COVID-19 data set. Now, I am very interested in the neighborhood level, so let's click on that and select that data set. Oops, refreshing here. So I'm going to open up the spreadsheet. So this is actually in a Google Sheet. And there are five separate sheets, first one indicating when the data was last updated. I have other sheets that contains tables that I kind of want to see in one table. So that's kind of the data prepping that I might need to do. Combine the four tables here and filter out the data I need and bring it into ArcGIS Pro and add a geometry to it. So if I look at the description of the data set, it's updated three times a week. So think of that workflow and I have to repeat that manually three times is a lot of work, which leads me to ArcGIS Pro um, with notebooks. So let's go jump back in here. I already have a notebook ready. And like Chris said, it was like a story map. So I'm presenting to you in this notebook with some context of what my script is going to do. I'm preparing the data. I'm going to add a geography to the data and then share that layer. So first thing first, we are going to import our libraries. And the libraries you can add through Python Manager or even through Python command prompt. And it's really handy because you can bring in open source libraries inside ArcGIS Pro. Next, I have some little description of where I got the data. I also have a screenshot just to show the five different sheets that I'll be extracting data from. I am next going to determine the date of the data set. So after I run that, it extracts that string of text from that first sheet and put it into a date format so I can later use for adding it into a date field. I am going to go through each spreadsheet that will extract the columns I want and produce a new table. So right now I'm looking at a data frame that I just built with all the columns I need and the neighborhood it corresponds to. And right now I'm looking at the preview. Now a couple of data cleanup I could do is finding missing data using Python again. I can see that I have one row with some NAN values, and that is for the missing address and postica. So some of the COVID tests that came back in might not have an address or postico. That's just that one row. So I'm going to actually drop that row and build a new data frame. So here I have 140 rows, which corresponds to the 140 neighborhoods in the city of Toronto. Now I went ahead and did something extra. I wanted to visualize my data set. I am now looking at a seaborne script that basically will spit out a bar chart. I wanted to see kind of the distribution of my data set by neighborhood. So I have a bunch of neighborhoods on the left here. The uh, light blue shows kind of the total cases for that neighborhood and the dark blue shows the cases that were um, reported since the last update. So I also want to see the range of COVID cases. There are around 3,000 cases max. So that helps me and gives me an idea of how I might have to symbolize my geometry or other data analysis that I'm going to be doing. Now, after that, I am pretty happy. I remember I have a data frame and I got to see my data set visually. So let's jump in and add a geometry to the data. I do that by bringing in ArcPy and using the data management and bring in that data frame and convert it into a feature table so that ArcGIS Pro understand what that means. Now, once I join that table to a geometry, I can add a date field. And next, I'm gonna append that to my um, repository of COVID-19 Toronto data set that I've been collecting since November. So if you take a look, I actually, in my map here, I actually uh, created this shape file for the March 28th update. Now, let's say I wanna see my total, my all the COVID cases. How do I see that? Well, I can just command that in my pro. So let me run this first to add this March 28th update. And voila, my Toronto underscore COVID-19 data set with 
all my data set that I've been collecting since November is now in here with also my March 28th update. So that's exactly what I want. I'm going to close this out. And so notice how everything that I've been doing is all done within this one interface from prepping my data to possibly analysis that I'll be doing. And then the data visualization, if I want to share it, I can all do it within one interface in ArcGIS Pro. Now, I know what you might be thinking, like we've had Python since the beginning of time, but you can write the script here with context and also see instant output. You don't need to embed print statement, nest it within logics. You can have everything visualized here. And in terms of collaborating with people, I can send this ArcGIS Pro project and send it to another colleague of mine that user would be able to access the data and the notebooks and have an idea what I'm, a, what I'm doing in the script, if there's no jargons of code that they'll need to try to figure out. So with that, because I mentioned collaboration, um, I'm actually going to upload the spreadsheet to ArcGIS Online for our next presenter, Paul, who's going to use this data set and do some analysis. So hopefully you are excited to use notebooks and hopefully, you know, that will help simplify the data cleaning process that might occur more than once a week or and it, like just repetitive process. You want to be able to automate it in a nice, neat document.